You guys, I have big news. Huge news, amazing news. Christmas has come early. <laughs> First order of business for today. Sickening. Walk away if you don't want to see this. <coughs> I'm gonna do one more because this has got to go. This cough of mine? Mm hmm. Bye. tastes even worse than the last time I took it. You know what's really ridiculous? At the beginning of November, I finished an entire bottle of this stuff. That's why I'm just so turned off by the taste. Well, anybody would be turned off by the taste of Buckley's, but they say when you finish an entire bottle of cough syrup, if you're still feeling terrible, go to the doctor. So that's when I did. <sighs> now that that is taken care of, you guys, I have big news, huge news, amazing news, Christmas, has come early. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at what I just got in the mail. The new Dyson Ball Animal 2 vacuum. You guys have no idea how excited I am right now. Oh gosh, I literally had to come over here because the sun is out in full effect right now and you couldn't even see me unboxing it over there. I think the sun came out to celebrate the arrival of my new Dyson. <laughs> okay, but back to business here. Dyson contacted me a few weeks ago to see if I wanted to try it and I was like, are you kidding me? You literally read my mind because I don't have a vacuum. I've been living here for, oh my gosh, our wedding anniversary is tomorrow, eight months. As of tomorrow, we will have been married. That is crazy. So, eight months without a vacuum. I regret not buying one from day one because I've never lived with hardwood before and there is so much dust that accumulates. I don't even know where it comes from. And I always find myself sweeping or trying to swiffer and it's just not enough. I needed a vacuum. I told Andy, he didn't even think we needed one until like, two weeks into living here and he's like, yeah, we need a vacuum. We Googled so many of them and Dyson always came up as like the best vacuum. And then, you know, we thought it's a little bit pricier. We never bought it for ourselves. My biggest regret, not putting it on my wedding registry because I thought, you know, it's a higher priced item. But here's what I didn't think of. A lot of people pooled together to buy bigger items. So I regret not putting this on there because I have a few smaller items, which were great, amazing thank you to everybody that supported my registry but i was thinking about this the other day i have a toaster a hundred dollar toaster that is sitting in my kitchen cabinet right now that i've probably used a handful of times whereas something like this costs a little bit more but you're gonna use this like every week well i know i will i'm gonna literally probably use it like twice a week because i i need it so to my brides out there put a Dyson on your registry. Okay, let's open this. I should probably wait for Andy, but you know what? I'm just way too excited. I'm not even gonna do that. Ooh! Oh my gosh, there's a whole section just for attachments. Da 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 da! First piece. <gasps> Second piece. The beauty itself right here. Isn't she beautiful? So apparently I have a little assembling to do. Maybe I should have waited for Andy. Oh, yeah. Very simple. All right, I got it all set up. That was actually pretty easy. And now I'm gonna turn it on and see how this bad boy works. Are you ready? Like a little tiny speck of dust. Oh. So it's been a few hours 
January since we last talked. I was vacuuming like crazy. I did our entire place and it was the best feeling ever. I was even gonna do the top of our headboard because there's literally a strip of dust there that I've wanted to get rid of forever. And I, I pick it off all the time, but it just accumulates on there because it's fabric. But I was looking at the attachments and I wasn't really sure which one to use. So I thought, number one, I'll wait for Andy and he can come home and tell me which one he thinks is best. And then he'll be able to see how good the vacuum is at getting rid of all this dust in our place. So now I am going to quickly run out and do a little bit more shopping on my own this time. Um, and try and get this Christmas shopping done. I'm still sick of myself saying that. I can only imagine what you guys are feeling right now. Let's go, let's do this. First, I gotta take a little bit more Buckley's. Just to clarify, I'm not excited about this. I'm just doing it because I got it. In order to taste our Christmas dinners in like two days, this is what it's for. I walked all the way to the mall. I get there, I find what I want, go up to this hill. I forgot my wallet at home. That's the kind of week I am having right now. And I pretty much just want to curl up in a ball and cry. Just where I thought it would be, I put all my stuff that I was gonna pack into my purse right here. <laughs> Granola bar, lip liners, wallet. Oh, good morning, you guys. Afternoon. Good afternoon now for us. We woke up early, we went to the walk-in clinic this morning. And it, there's nothing really he can do about it. I just told him I have this cough that will not go away. Last night it was brutal. Every two minutes I had a hard time sleeping and he just prescribed a cough syrup. So. Moving five, right along. At five in the morning I found Trina asleep on the couch. Well, I was just thinking I'm gonna wake him up and literally, I'm not joking, Any every two minutes, like coughing to the point where I'm like gagging. It's ridiculous, so. Anywho, Andy is making stuffing for his family's Christmas dinner tomorrow night. Christmas Eve dinner. Christmas Day will be at my family's house. Do you feel terrible today? After these onions, I do. <laughs> um, I woke up with a really sore throat this morning, so apparently Trina should have the couch earlier. And I think for today's vlog, I'm just gonna combine the two days because I didn't do anything super exciting yesterday except for receive that Dyson. And then today I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to my parents' house and I'm gonna chill. And I will be over here wrapping my gift and watching White Christmas. First batch of stuffing is prepped. Now um, he just has to cover it with tin foil, put it in the oven. Second batch is going, getting ready right here. Delish. It smells so good in here. You wanna grab that spatula? So we never got to do what we wanted to do last night with the vacuum. So now that we have a mess on our tiles, I was thinking this is normally what I would sweep, but we're gonna see what this vacuum can do. Oh, look at all the crud it picked up yesterday. We're in our room now, and this right here on the headboard is what has been bothering me. Look at this. Okay, which attachment do you got? I got it's like a little miniature version of the actual piece. Oh. Andy read the manual quickly last night. <laughs> Let's see it. Isn't this suction crazy? It's so powerful. Since the last time I talked to you guys, I came to my parents' house, I slept for like three, maybe four hours, and then I woke up and I made some more cookies. This right here, I think, is the perfect cookie. And what I do afterwards is sprinkle a little bit of this on and it just makes them look even prettier. These are without icing sugar. These are with. And I have some cute little tins I'm gonna be wrapping them up in. Got my parchment paper, or tissue paper. Loading this tin up. 
Look at the bottoms.